welcome to Soilborn Farms. I'm so happy you can be here with me today. I'm gonna read you a story called, What's This? A Seed Story. A seed lay on the ground. One winter morning, a bird saw the seed. He flew down to have a closer look. The bird hopped around the seed. He looked at it from the left. He looked at it from the right. What's this? thought the bird. Find a seed, look at it from the left, look at it from the right. A little girl came by. She too looked at the seed. What's this? she wondered. Let's find out, she said to the bird. A marmalade cat came by. The little girl planted the seed carefully in a corner of her garden. All right, go ahead and plant your seed in your garden. What's this? She asked the cat. The cat looked at the girl wisely. It's something that grows, she said. You will have to give it some water. The little girl listened and remembered. On days when it rained, she did not water the seed, but on days when it was sunny, she gave it a long, cool drink. All right, take your watering can and water your seed. Nice. Spring came to the garden. The bird and the little girl and the marmalade cat watched and waited. The seed started to grow. A thin stem pushed out of the ground and two small leaves opened at the top. All right, just like the plant, send out your little stem and open your leaves at the top. Nice job. Soon, the plant was taller than the bird. It grew more leaves and its stem became longer and longer. Summer came to the garden. Now, the plant was taller than the cat. The sun grew hotter and hotter. Sometimes the little girl had to water the plant twice a day. Its stem became so long that she had to tie it to a stick to stop it from falling over. Every day when she woke up, the little girl ran straight out to the garden to look at the plant that was growing from the seed. And one morning, when she ran outside there, turning its head to the sun, was a magnificent sunflower. Whenever she could, the little girl visited the sunflower. She told it all her secrets. The marmalade cat and the bird watched and listened. Fall came to the garden. When the sunflower's head drooped, the little girl carried it carefully with her to school and gave it to her teacher. Together, they shook the head gently so that all of the seeds dropped off. Then, they kept the seeds in a special place. Hmm, I wonder what they're gonna do with those seeds. Winter passed and spring returned. The children in the class planted their sunflower seeds in pots. Every day they watered them and watched them. And when the next summer came, every child had a beautiful, smiling sunflower. The end. This story is called Anywhere Farm. What do you think an Anywhere Farm is? Let's find out. From, for an anywhere farm, here's all that you need. Soil and sunshine, some water, a seed. Fat seed or skinny seed, pointy or round, tenderly tuck it down into the ground. 
Then you watch and you wait. You water, you weed, your seed will sprout out at its own seedy speed. And you'll have an anywhere, anywhere farm. Where can you plant your anywhere farm? An old empty lot makes a good growing plot, but a pan or a bucket, a pot or a shoe, a bin or a tin or a window will do. Plant a farm in a crate, plant a farm in a cup, in a box on a balcony, 10 stories up. Plant a farm in a truck, in a box, on a bike. Plant an anywhere farm, anywhere you like. Where would you plant your anywhere farm? Anywhere that you have some soil, some seed, some sunshine, and water. That's all that you need for your anywhere, anywhere, anywhere farm. What can you plant on your anywhere farm? Kale in a pail? Corn in a horn? That's pretty silly. Beets and zucchini, oregano, beans, jicama, broccoli, radishes, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, and peas. On your anywhere farm, plant whatever you please. Who might come to visit your anywhere farm? You might see a monarch, a ladybug, bees, hummingbirds, cardinals, or fat chickadees. Your neighbors might come when they see what you've grown. They might want an anywhere farm of their own. You might give them some seeds that they can plant in a can, a carton, a wash tub, an old frying pan. In a boat or a boot or right in their yard, anybody can do it. You've showed it's not hard. With your farm in a basket and mine on a chair, with soil and sunshine and water and care, one day all our anywhere farms anywhere might turn into an everywhere farm everywhere. Where does it all start? What do you need? Just one farmer, you, and one little seed.